Welcome to Pregnancy and Birth Diaries. Today we'll be talking about bridge positions. Babies are often delivered head first because it's the most natural and safest position for childbirth. But what are the other possible ways babies might position themselves? And what would that mean for the birthing process? And is it possible to turn babies manually? Head first position allows baby's head to fit more easily through the mother's pelvis and birth canal. The head is usually the largest part of the baby's body, so delivering it first minimizes the chances of complications during labor and delivery. When a baby is positioned head down, it also allows the baby to take its first breath more easily once delivered as the head emerges first and clears the way for the airway. Our body naturally encourages uh, the baby to assume the head down position. First of all, when our uterus expands during pregnancy, it creates an environment where the baby can move and adjust position. Also, amniotic fluid allows the baby to move and turn, potentially helping in assuming the optimal head down position. Finally, as the baby grows and gains weight, their natural movements and the limited space in the uterus encourage them to position themselves head down. While the head down position is the most common, uh, there are instances where a baby may present uh, in other positions such as breech, uh, feet or buttocks down or uh, sideways. In some cases, as the due date approaches, the baby instinctively aligns itself head down in preparation for birth. However, not all babies naturally assume the head down position and remain in their bridge position. Okay, so there are frank bridge, complete bridge, and foot length bridge. Frank bridge is the most common bridge presentation where the baby's bottom is down, legs are straight up in front of the body and feet are near the head. In complete bridge position, the uh, baby sits cross legged with knees bent and feet near the bottom and footling bridge is when one or both of the baby's feet are positioned downward ready to emerge first. Unfortunately, a vaginal burst of a bridge baby is not always possible because it might carry higher risks compared to a head first birth due to potential complications such as cord prolapse, head entrapment or other difficulties during delivery. I even know some hospitals that do not even try vaginal birth unless baby is head first positioned. So doctors may try to manually turn the baby into head down position through external uh, cephalic version ECV or may recommend a plant C-section to avoid risks and complications during childbirth. So ECV is performed in the later stages of pregnancy, usually around 36, 37 weeks, but not earlier. Before the procedure, an ultrasound is performed to confirm the baby's position and check the placenta's location and assess uh, the am amount of amniotic fluid. Of course, ECV is uh, performed in a hospital or maternity unit where equipment and expertise are available uh, because there might be some risks, which I will get into a bit later. Uh, before the procedure, pain relief or medication to relax the uterine muscles might be offered to reduce discomfort and help with relaxation. Uh, I read somewhere that Kim Kardashian had ECV and was not offered any pain relief and I'm not sure if it's true or not but she apparently found ECV more painful than childbirth so you might want to keep that in mind. Personally I've never had ECV done so I don't know how painful it could be uh, but I'm assuming it's different for everyone. Okay, so and then with guidance from ultrasound, a skilled healthcare provider uses their hands on the mother's abdomen to gently push and maneuver the baby into a head down position. Uh, this is often a slow and carefully controlled process to avoid distressing the baby or causing complications. And of course, both the baby's and mother's well being are closely monitored with continuous fetal heart rate uh, monitoring and periodic ultrasound checks. And after a successful repositioning, additional monitoring might be required for a period 
of time to ensure the baby maintains the desired position and to uh, assess uh, the mother's well-being. It's important to note that while a CV can be successful in turning the baby, it's not always effective and might pose some risks. These uh, can be discomfort or pain for the mother, temporary changes in the baby's heart rate, or water breaking early. In some rare cases, complications like placental abruption. Doctors usually carefully consider the risks and benefits before recommending or performing this procedure. Each bridge position and its outcome depend on different factors like the baby's size, position, and the mother's health. It's crucial to discuss these possibilities with your doctor to make informed decisions. All right, that is it for today. Stay well and I will see you next time.